How important is the resurrection to us as Christians? Without the resurrection, the gospel wouldn't have any meaning. The resurrection itself brings purpose and brings meaning to the gospel. The fact that Christ resurrected is what the gospel is all about and it is the good news. It is the hope that we have as Christians that we will be resurrected one day as well. Jesus was the first fruit, the word of God teaches us, the first fruit of the resurrected. God made Adam from the dust. He breathed spirit into his body and then his body became alive. The opposite happens when we die. Our spirit gets removed from the body. The body dies, the body is lifeless, the body goes back to dust and the body decays and disintegrates. The spirit, however, continues to live on. The spirit continues to live on in heaven, depending on what your decision was. Did you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Meaning, your spirit was now sealed, um, sealed by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, once you die, your spirit leaves your body and you go to heaven. If you are an unbeliever, you haven't received the Holy Spirit, you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your body dies and your spirit goes down to Hades or Sheol. I'm saying that because Luke 16 teaches us that, that before Christ died and before he, he became the sacrifice for us, Luke, he, Jesus explains in Luke 16 that there was this place called Hades or Sheol. Sheol was separated into two parts. There was the comforting side of Sheol. There was a chasm that separated it. And there was the tormenting side. What happened with Jesus was when he died, his body stayed in the tomb. His spirit left his body. His spirit then had to go. And um, for the three days, his spirit went down. 1 Peter 3 verse 19 to 20 says that Christ was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit by whom he also went and preached to the spirits in prison, those who disobeyed God long ago, which means he went down into Sheol. He went and he preached to the spirits. The Old Testament saints couldn't go to heaven at the time. Jesus didn't die as the sacrifice yet. So God kept them all in Sheol. In Sheol, you will find that there's a place of comfort and there's a place of torment. So if the, the Old Testament saints were all kept in what we, is known to us and what the Word of God says, Abram's bosom, the unbelievers all went to, um, went to the, the, the uncomfortable side, the side where there was torment. They stayed on that side of, of Sheol. We read in Ephesians 4 verse 8, when he ascended on high, he led the captives led them out and he gave them all gifts. Now then he goes to explain in Ephesians 4 verse 9. Now this expression he ascended, what does it mean except that he also descended into the lower parts of the earth, which means he went down into earth and he did what he had to. He took the, the, the Old Testament saints, spirits with him and they are all in heaven now. So that's what happens to us as the human race. Your spirit leaves your body, you go into heaven and you will wait for your resurrected body. There will be a time when, when, when Jesus will come and that day of resurrection will happen. That is the hope that we are looking forward to. Unfortunately for the unbeliever, they will stay in Sheol, they will stay in, in Hades. Um, 1, Peter, 1 Peter 3 verse 19 tells us that Christ was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, by whom also we went and preached to the spirits in the prison, those who disobeyed God long ago. So he went and he preached to, to those spirits. He went and he showed himself to the spirits who died in the Old Testament, rejected him. He tells us in John 10 verse 18 that I have authority to lay, to lay down my life and I have authority to take it back up again. But he is the only God that, that resurrected from the dead. He is the only God who brought himself to life. There's no other God that did that. There's no other person that did that. Nobody by himself and by his own power could resurrect himself. And that is the type of God we serve who has that kind of power. So that is the power and that is the message that the resurrection is built upon. The power that Jesus had to resurrect himself.
to resurrect himself from the dead, to go and do what he had to do in Sheol, come back and then make right for us. He became the perfect sacrifice. Our hope is that one day we will resurrect. We will resurrect to heaven or we will resurrect to hell.